Today, we are doing a strength training session designed for endurance athletes. You can use this during your base training period. You will need dumbbells and a bench. Make sure you are warm before you begin this video. Get my 12 week base training program for long course, AKA half Ironman distance on Training Peaks. The link is in the description. The exercises we are doing today are farmer's carry, Romanian deadlift, goblet squats, reverse lunges, bench press, and bent over rows. Everything is done with dumbbells, but you can use a barbell as well. You will need a wide range of weights. I have 35 pounds here, 25, 20, and 15s. These weights are good for me, but you need to determine the weight that you need to use. And for this workout, I suggest about 50 to 70% of your one rep max. If you don't know your one rep max, then start with a light weight today. And as you continue to use this program and progress, you can increase your load. The goal today is to work on muscular endurance and work on functional movement patterns because they will play over into our sports and help us become better athletes. So let's get started. Farmer's carry. For this exercise, we are gonna do three sets. You need to hold the weight for 30 seconds. You need a heavy weight for this exercise. Pick with good form and let's go. Holding good posture. Breathing. Stiff core. Strong grip. And I'm guessing 30 seconds. Let's say we're about 20 seconds in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, last one. Wow, that should feel taxing. <laughs> However, if you're a beginner and this is your first time lifting, go for the lighter weights until your body gets used to it. Because if you lift really heavy weights today in this workout, you're gonna be extremely sore for many, many, many days. Big deep breath in. Let's do this again. Lift with good form. You want to have real stiff core with good posture, building power by having a stronger core so you can move, run, swim, bike, all using your limbs nice and strong. So when your core is nice and strong here, then everything else, you can develop a lot more power through the limbs. Let's lift again. Last time. your grip strength as well. Let's put those weights away and now we're going to move on to the Romanian deadlift. Romanian deadlift is a hip hinge. So we want to hinge forward from the hips, not from the back. Okay, so hips is what we 
we want. Three sets, 15 reps each. Picking your weights up from the ground, use a neutral back. Bring the hips forward. From here we begin. Down to the knees, just below, and then back up, maintaining neutral spine and stiffness through the core. One, two, three, squeeze the butt at the top, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great, take a rest. Feet should be hip width apart, by the way. When you're doing the Romanian deadlift, you want to keep a fairly straight leg. We're not lifting like the conventional deadlift, where we actually bend our knees each time. It's more of a pure hip hinge movement. Let's do this again. Get your weights, get set, lift, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, keep your neck in line with your spine, six, seven, eight, squeeze those glutes at the top, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, one more set. We don't take too long of a break in between our sets because our goal is muscular endurance at this phase of training. 30 seconds, but if you're a beginner, you could go up to a minute. Grab the weights, get set, go. Let's do this last set. One, two, three, four, five, maintain neutral spine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we're done. Let's put these away. Goblet squats are up next. This is a great exercise for your squat development and also opening up the hips. Put your weight on the end, it's easier to pick up. Then we're gonna squat down, grab it like this, bring it up, and then just give it a little uh, shoot up like that, and then hold it in front of you, like this. In front of your chest, elbows are down, don't have your shoulders up by your ears, and we're gonna squat down as deep as you can go. Here we go. One, two, Three, breathing in here, breathing out here. Four, five, don't forget that breath, it's important. Six, breathing in, breathing out. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Take a break. I'm going to do that one on the side, side view this time. So you can see when I'm squatting down, I'm not dumping in my belly like that. That's really important. If you find that happens, it could be your ankles aren't very, they don't have very good mobility. So a fix could be to put wedges underneath your feet, like a book or something. Okay, get ready, let's do this. Pick the weight up, set it, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Awesome. One more set. Let's begin again. This is the last set for goblet squats. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Awesome, good. Take a break. I will demonstrate the next exercise. We are doing what's called reverse lunges. If you have tight hip flexors, reverse lunges are a great way to open them up, stretch them out. Keep your spine in neutral, neutral position and vertical. So when you step back, whoa, you want to have good balance. <laughs> You're not collapsing forward or arching back like that. You want to have neutral and then bring it together. So you step back and then bring it together. We're going to alternate the legs. So we'll do left, right, left, right, and so forth. Or right, left, right, left. And we have 16 of these to do in total. One. Two, alternating on each, each side. Three, four, nice and strong. Five, six, make sure those shoulders stay in there. Seven, that they stay in their place. Eight, nine, you're not rounding them forward. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, a little rest, we do that again, I will face you this time, you got the side version, now you'll see the front version, get your weights, get set, here we go, that's two, one on each leg, three, four, five. I'm tapping my knee just slightly, six, but if you can't get it, seven, don't worry about it. Eight, just get as low as you can. Nine, with good form. 10, 11, 12, 13, whoa, my balance. 14, 15, 16. Okay, one more set. I have a mirror right here that I can see myself. Mirrors are great. You watch your form. They help you. Just a long enough rest, a little bit of recovery, but not much. Grab your weights, get set, here we go. That's two, three, four, <laughs> five, <laughs>
15. Awesome. So the next exercise, we're doing a bench press. If you don't have a bench, you can actually do this exercise on the floor. The only problem with that is you can't get the full range of motion that you can on a bench. But you can also use a table or even a step bench if you have a stepper. Anything that allows you to get your elbows to go down because otherwise the floor would stop your arm from going through unless you're like super power, you have superpowers and you can like smash through that floor. <laughs> so grab your weights, lay back, get yourself nice and comfy. I put my feet up on the bench because when I put them on the floor, I hyperextend and that's no good for me. Lift your weights up and turn them like this and you want them above your chest, not above your face. You're gonna bring your weights out to the side like that, 90 degree bend in the elbow. And you're gonna press back up like that. There's no need to smash the weights at the top. Get ready, get set, we're doing 15, here we go. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. That's two, three, four, brace your core, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, take a break. Make sure you're breathing in as you lower, exhale as you push, and you want to brace your core. Get set, get ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew, I'm sweating. Whew. Taking a break. Last set, get ready. Set your weights, here we go. One, two, nice and controlled. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Great work. Last but not least, we have bent over dumbbell rows. We want to be bent over, keeping a neutral spine. When we pull our weights up, we're gonna pull them back like this, opposed to pulling them like that. We don't wanna squeeze between the shoulder blades, we wanna hit the lats. Grab your weights and let's get set for this one. Bring your feet a little narrow so the dumbbells don't smash into your, into your legs. So you're gonna bend your knees and bend forward. So you get a nice stance, nice and strong, and we're gonna row using a hammer grip towards our hip. One, two, squeeze the back. Three, keep the neck in line with the spine. Four, five, lower the weight, don't drop it. Six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, pull, nine, one, two, three, pull, ten, use a good tempo, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, squeeze that back, fifteen. <sighs> Two more sets of fifteen and then we're done. Okay, here we go. Grab the weights and let's row. So 
stand up, set, and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, take a break. Last time, I'm going to face you so you can see this front on. Little break, one more set of 15. Grab those weights, get set, and row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hit those lats, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, oh, 13, 14, 15. Good job, congratulations, you just finished the workout. Okay, your work is done, now what? Well, cool down, do some stretching, some foam rolling, all that good stuff. If you need a video to help guide you, I have a stretching video and I have a foam rolling video and I'll put the link the links to those videos in the description below. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. And remember to check me out on trainingpeaks.com. I am growing my library of training plans there for triathletes, duathletes, cyclists, and runners. I also have some plans on there for general fitness and weight loss. Whatever you decide to do, have fun doing it. Good luck in your races and your training, and I hope you come back and work out with me again. Bye for now.